Hi, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about active investing versus passive investing. So first of all, to understand um, each one of them, I'm going to tackle the active investing first. So this is taking consideration of purchasing individual securities. They might be mutual funds, exchange traded funds, individual stocks, individual bonds, or other types of um, marketable securities. And the goal is when you're an active investor that you're putting together this portfolio to outperform the market. Many times you do need to work with a professional investment manager and there may be a fee associated with working that with that manager. So incorporating, incorporating the fee that you're paying and trying to outpace the market, you're looking for a higher return when you're going with active investing. So actually making the decision about what stocks to pick, if, you're, if it's something that you're doing on your own, may involve a good bit of research, but many times I do see individuals hiring other uh, investment managers who that's what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so it's important to understand the fee that you will pay to them as well, and make sure that the performance that they're providing to you is worth it at the end of the day. So what exactly then is passive investing? So you can um, practice passive investing by trying to maximize your returns by minimizing the amount of buying and selling that you're doing with these securities. Now with this type of strategies, investors may actually buy and hold their stocks or bonds in passive funds or passive index funds. And traditionally there aren't a lot of um, higher fees that are associated with that because it's not active management. We're not seeing a manager who's making a decision and buying, selling every day. They're actually more of a buy and hold philosophy. So the fees can be lower and there actually tends to be a lot more transparency um, with these because they are actually following along with an index. You, um, you know exactly what's being bought and for the most part being held. Whereas sometimes with a mutual fund with an active manager, they're buying and selling every day and you can't keep track of what is being bought and sold until they actually put out the reports and share that information. So which one makes sense? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit different. And sometimes it's actually a combination between the two of active and passive investing. So what's important is that you're working with your financial professional, you have a goal in mind with the, funny, with the funds that you're investing, and you stick with that goal over the longer term. But it can be a combination of both. It can be um, more active or it could be more passive. If you'd like to discuss this in greater t detail or any other financial uh, issues, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 412-346-4655. Send me an email at diane at pearsonfinancialplanning.com or learn more about me and my services at www.pearsonfinancialplanning.com. Thanks, and as always, have a great day.